Hey guys, what is up? It's Vinny Designs here with a brand new video and I'm back with Affinity Designer and I know it's been a while since I uploaded a tutorial on the software and it's because the previous version of the software had some bugs um, like I wasn't able to use the shortcut keys for undoing and redoing and that was a pain in the ass for me uh, when designing so I kind of just waited until they updated the software and uh, uh, so far it's been good with the new update so um, I hope you guys are excited with a brand new tutorial on the software and in this one it's going to be a simple short tutorial on how to create some basic flat button designs so you would use buttons for maybe uh, websites or uh, an app on your phone so it's kind of useful to know how to design um, something like this and I'll show you how in the software. So in order to create a flat button design um, you're going to need to create some basic shapes and I'll show you how to do that. First you want to just add a new layer by hitting the add new layer button at the bottom right corner and uh, let's create a background first using the rectangle um, rectangle tool. Drag it out and now we have a simple background to use. Um, open up the layer and uh, I recommend just locking the rectangle um, shape layer because we don't want to be able to move this when designing our uh, buttons. So now let's create an actual button we're going to create the first button which is just going to be a simple rectangle um, design so let's choose a color for a button i'm going to use a light blue color for my button but you can use any color you want uh, the hex code for this is 06 b e f 6 so this is going to be my color hopefully this works um okay hold up i have to re um enter it 06B5F6. Again, this does not have to be exact, so just use the uh, numbers that I'm providing or use any color you want. Um, drag out a rectangle. It does not have to be perfect because we're going to change a manual at the bottom. Um, for the width, we're going to set it to 200 pixels and the height at 80 pixels. And again, you can choose any size you want. So we have one shape done and we want to add a highlight at the bottom so that or a shadow so that it kind of looks like a button um, so just copy this layer by hitting ctrl c and ctrl f on your keyboard and drag the top rectangle to the bottom underneath the uh, first rectangle and for this rectangle rectangle we're gonna um, change it to a bit of a darker uh, blue color and you can play around with this and see what you like for, um, for the shadow um, now what you want to do is just hit the bottom arrow key on your keyboard a few times, maybe uh, six or seven times. And uh, you can adjust the color again by selecting the layer and choosing using the color picker. So just choose a darker blue to create the shadow at the bottom. And that gives it a nice 3D-ish effect for the button. And uh, we can also create a text on top. So use the text tool and uh, just write whatever you want so maybe if it's a twitter button uh you can write down follow so i'm gonna enter follow and position it using the um snapping feature you can just cl uh, click and drag to position it in between um the uh, button so that was simple it, it, it did not take uh, a lot of time it just took a couple minutes and uh, we have our first um, button design uh, what, I'm, what I'm gonna do is just drag this background layer to the bottom and just create a separate layer for it Because I don't want to duplicate that So to create another button, I'm gonna copy this first layer Control C and Control F on your or Control V on your keyboard and then hide the first um, button design that we created open up the second layer and uh, choose the rectangle layers and what we want to do is turn the um, sharp edges to corners, uh, around the corners actually. So at the top, you're gonna see the option for corners and it's set to just straight corners right now. We want rounded, so choose rounded and the default is set to 25%. That's gonna be okay for our design currently, but if you wanna um, make it more rounded, then you can increase the uh, roundness or decrease it if you want. Um, do the same thing with the second rectangle. Again, go to rounded corner and uh, there we go now we have a rounded rectangle button it did not take long so i'm going to show you the comparison of the two different designs we just created i'm going to uh, reselect the first design and then I position this one to the right 
and you can see the difference um, of the two different designs we just created. The one is the first one is a bit more rectangular, and the second one is rounded rectangle. Um, you can also use this technique to create rounded, just a pure round circles to create some uh, buttons or icons, logos, or whatever you want to do um, for an app or a website. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new in Affinity Designer. And uh, I'll be creating more tutorials soon um, now that I'm able to create more designs in the software. Um, the software is still in beta, so if you do want to install the software on Windows, you can. It's completely free right now. And uh, Affinity Photo will be releasing in the next few months in beta mode. So when that does release for beta, I will be doing some tutorials on that software as well. So if you want to check out some of my future tutorials, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.